What's up everybody, this is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you get the information you need right up front, and if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step -step walkthrough. Today we're going to show you just how simple and easy it is to create your own custom menus in SharePoint. Stick around, y'all. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra, careful with my hands cause I gotta use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd, I like maple syrup, all my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. Okay, as we get that timer rolling, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Without you, there's no channel. Let's get it on. Okay, first thing you're going to do is you're going to hit that edit button like you always do. Edit that page. And just go ahead and pop off a new section just to have some place to work with. And then we're going to go in that new section. We're going to pop off a new quick links web part. And then boom, you're almost already there. You're just going to start adding some links. We're going to say we just want to go to this, uh, this one page here. Okay, we're going to insert. And then we're going to switch it from compact to grid and then we can add a custom image if we want to we can go here custom image we'll change it uh we gotta think of something that goes with calendars we're gonna just maybe type in calendar and then we're gonna grab a calendar and then we're gonna insert and then we're gonna hit republish and i know yes it's just one but you had to start something all right so there you go just rinse repeat so you want to see that again and see see the finished product so here you go. This is the grid. Yes, it's giant and it's bulky, but it's custom. You can choose the URL that goes behind this hyperlink. You can choose the image that goes here. Um, there's some other options, but let's just go ahead and just slow it down and show you how to repeat this here. So we're going to go into edit and we'll just, you know, quick little tip. Here's how you delete a web part. Just going to click on it click on it and then you're going to hit the trash icon now it's gone all right so let's do this again you want a menu you're okay if it's going to be slightly large because i mean this gives you with the quick links web part this is going to give you the most visually appealing thing in my opinion uh the tough part is you can't resize it uh if you want it to have this look and feel but we'll show you some other options in just a moment all right, so we're going to go select the web part. We want quick links. And this is a super cool web part. Um, I think it's super versatile. And if you're looking for a menu of sorts, it's it's a great way to, um, you know, keep some links in a little box, give them an image. Uh, I just like the way it works. So one thing that I didn't show you is that you can actually name this. So you can just... You name this what you want and then you go in here and you decide to add links now the first one's given to you you just click on it and then you can choose from you know anything that has a URL basically whether it's internal external uh, you know check with your people first but yeah all you need is a, a web address and you're ready to rock so uh, SharePoint will let you you know pick from recent stuffs pages uh, here's some documents and lists and all that jazz you could point to stock images if you want you could point to files in OneDrive point to stuff in a site so basically the site that the page lives on here or the web part where the web parts living same thing uh, but you can point to files you know in a site of document library went there and we could select file etc um you could upload something okay uh or you could choose a link so in that case you would just smack in the url and then you'd be good to go so we'll go ahead and just link to this image because we're wild and crazy all right so this is your compact view uh, if you want to see this one down here in compact view we can get an idea of what that would look like with more stuffs um so not super visually awesome uh can we go in let's see what we can change here you can go with a custom image so you're gonna have to make some updates let's go grab a stock image and let's just smack that in there and see what we get okay so yeah in some cases gonna make you redo the photo but here it kept the photo you know, there's all sorts of things going on behind the scenes, like some of them, uh, like, for instance, if you have an image on a page that you choose uh, here, let's just go back to the grid. And so 
this one here, uh, there is an image of this microphone on the page, and so when we use the grid view, it grabs that. Uh, this one here is a website, and it just automatically pulled that in. So the way you make that happen is you choose Auto Selected, or you can go with the custom image, or you can go with the library. I haven't really played with this option, uh, but if you want to see more about the library option, let me know. I'll dig into it for you. Uh, so, and we're kind of bouncing around a little bit, but the long and short of it is if you need a menu, you can use the Quick Links web part and then configure it to your liking. Now, I will want to show you all the other options uh, so you can play with those. So if we go to Grid, hit the drop down, we saw Compact, there's Compact. Film Strip, you know, you just have to click the little radio button to go to the next set. Not a huge fan of that one, but everything has its use case. Here's Grid, which we've already seen. Buttons, this is pretty slick. Uh, one thing I like to do with the buttons, find. Yeah, so there is a setting here uh, for buttons I like to play with here. And, you know, you can show descriptions and or not. Uh, it'll open up an area for you. Yeah, so you go to each individual item and then you can edit the description. So it gives you that if you go back here and turn that off so there's like two levels of settings so if I say don't show descriptions now when I go to this particular link settings oh I can still type it but it won't show it so uh, but to see that example we can go back so five best rappers oh we gotta change the setting just so you can see that in real life okay there you go there's a description it's there okay continuing on from button we have list it's just much smaller and then tiles which is kind of cool as well uh, but there is one more thing that I was going to show you about the buttons button appearance and we can change from outline to fill color and I think that adds a little bit more pop all right now there are a lot more little bells and whistles to play around with and switches to flip if there's something in particular you want to see more about let me know in the comments and we'll make a video just for that. Until then, quick review, add yourself a section, snap in a quick links web part, and then just customize it to your liking. With that, do the very best you can with what you got. Remember, SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup on my pancakes. I